Good morning, pilot. Today you will learn how to launch the F-14B Tomcat from a carrier. Today's procedure will be according to the Case 1 departure pattern. You should consult the briefing diagram before the flight. The Case 1 departure from the carrier is used during fair weather conditions. After launch, you will execute a clearing turn away from the carrier with a 20 degree heading change and then turn back towards the ship's base recovery course, or BRC. You will maintain 500 feet or below and an airspeed of about 300 knots. At a distance of seven nautical miles from the carrier, you're free to climb and proceed on to your mission. This pattern will allow deconfliction with recovering and circling aircraft around the carrier. Tune the TACAN to 74 X-ray and make sure the TACAN is selected as the steering source on the PDCP. You may now turn the course knob on your HSD to correspond to the ship's BRC, which will aid you in keeping the correct radial from the ship during the departure. In this case, the BRC is 325 degrees. Note that your HUD and VDI, as well as BDHI, may indicate deviations as large as 30 degrees. This is due to the carrier's magnetic field, which disturbs our instruments and can vary depending on our position on the ship. The magnetic deviation will clear it by itself shortly after takeoff or by pressing and holding the heading knob on the compass control panel while flying straight and level. Press spacebar to continue. Carrier BRC, 325 degrees. NWS on. You will have to carefully line up the aircraft with the catapult track to avoid any problems during launch. Line up the red marks on the side of the ship with your left shoulder. Once in position, in order to hook up to the catapult, you will have to kneel the nose wheel by pressing the nose strut switch downward. Press U to hook up to the catapult. Once you are hooked up, the jet blast deflector behind you will be raised. Press spacebar to continue. Line up the catapult. Jet blaster가 자동 올라옵니다. Move the wing sweep handle forwards to about the halfway point, then lower the handle to lock it in. Press master reset to allow the wing sweep controls on the throttle to function. This is required every time after the manual wing sweep lever is used. Wing sweep, 중간 정도, cover 닫고, set the wing sweep to auto, wing sweep auto, lower the flaps. Flat low. Set trim to about 2 degrees nose up. Press spacebar to continue. Frame check. Advance the throttles to mill, max drive thrust. In the F-14B, carrier launches are made with military power on execute a control wipeout. Wipeouts are always done in the following order. Stick full forward, stick full aft, Stick full left, stick full right, full left rudder, and full right rudder. 
Once the wipeout is complete and you are ready to launch, salute the shooter. Press left shift U to signal the catapult shot. Shit. Execute a clearing turn to the left with about a 20 degree heading change, yeah, and up. then immediately turn right onto the BRC. Yeah, Raise the landing gear and flaps. Maintain 300 knots and stay below 500 feet. Keep an eye on the vertical speed in your vertical speed indicator instrument or in the HUD. Once you have reached seven nautical miles distance from the carrier, you are clear to climb above 500 feet and resume own navigation. This concludes the tutorial. Your next lesson will be the Case 1 landing tutorial. But don't dread it, the Tomcat will bring you down just fine.